is up everyone captain joe shoes back here with another food review and today we are back at arby's where they have the meats and today we're going to be testing out their brown sugar bacon sandwiches they've got three different sandwiches we have one of each a bake a brown sugar bacon blt a brown sugar bacon turkey and a brown sugar bacon roast beef we're gonna have one of each but before we get started please remember to like this video subscribe to the channel get down in the comments let me know if you've had them if you've tried them if you like them if you don't like them i want to know so drop some comments right here on youtube so Arby's has the meats. They stay giving us different stuff all throughout the year. I can appreciate something like that. And we're gonna start today with their brown sugar BLT. And I should note that these sandwiches come on these delectable King's Hawaiian buns. And believe me, that makes a difference. That's some good bunnage right there. So let's take a look at this. We've got the B L T. Boom, loaded with bacon, some big tomatoes, our, our lettuce on the bottom there, on the supple King's Hawaiian bun. Let's get into it. Ah. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty good. And it was also pretty good because I'm not normally a BLT guy. A BLT is something like so basic. It's not something I ever want or need or am in the mood for, but this was really good. That one in particular was loaded with that brown sugar bacon. I mean, there was a ton of it in there. You always say, when you do the gimmicks, you want the stuff, right? I say that all the time on this channel. If you're saying the gimmick is brown sugar bacon, I want plenty of brown sugar bacon. And that had a ton of brown sugar bacon on that sandwich. And you tasted it. You got a lot of it in every single bite. I really like that sandwich. And like I said, I'm not normally a BLT guy at all. The bacon has that very nice sweetness to it from the brown sugar and the taste really comes through. It really came through on there. So now I'm interested to see if it gets kind of lost in the shuffle when I go into one of the ones with the meat now. So let's try this one. Let's open it up, see what it is. This is the roast beef. So we're gonna go to roast beef next. Also on that luxurious King's Hawaiian bun. Let's open this up. It looks like a little spicy mayo. So not as much bacon as we saw on the BLT here. A little slice of Swiss cheese. And then the lettuce and tomato, obviously, with the roast beef here. Oh, it's not lose that bacon. Almost, almost, but I caught it. So here's the roast beef. Let's get into this one now. Oh. I think we're two for two so far. I really like this. Not as much bacon as on the BLT. Obviously with the roast beef, it looks like they're cutting the bacon on it just a bit. Kind of even out, I guess the price wise on it because the BLT is coming in around the same price as uh, the turkey and the roast beef sandwiches. But here, 
we got that spicy mustard on the top and bottom obviously a nice touch with the roast beef and the bacon did not get lost even though there was less bacon on this you're still getting that brown sugar sweetness and everything's coming together well even with the mustard in there too and the swiss cheese obviously is a nice touch i'm always going to be in favor of more cheese give me a slice of cheese on anything basically i'm up for it so we're two down one to go all that's left is the turkey I don't know if I've ever had the turkey at Arby's before. Actually, I did. I've had the meat mountain sandwich, which was like everything under the sun. So let's look at this. The turkey's piled high there. A good amount of bacon, basically the same that we got on the roast beef there. We've got, uh, looks like that spicy mustard again and our lettuce and tomato. I don't see any cheese on this, however, like on the roast beef. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, it's melted right on the turkey. Duh, what am I looking at here? So we got some cheese on here as well. And now this is our third sandwich of the day and we're gonna get right into it. Oh. Down, baby one of each of the brown sugar bacon sandwiches here at Arby's and I gotta tell you I think that turkey was my favorite it was very moist had a lot of flavor to it the cheese the mustard on it all coming in clutch operating very nicely I just really enjoyed that I'm really impressed by all three of these sandwiches the the brown sugar bacon it's very, very tasty. And, you know, I got spoiled at the beginning with the BLT because they really loaded it up for that. And it was really good. And obviously they took a little bit out to give you the turkey and the roast beef sandwiches, but we also got those added meats. We got the cheese. And on everything, we also have those King's Hawaiian buns, which, I mean, it really makes a difference. It's not your average fast food bun. It is a quality, definitely a step above your regular fast food bun that you're used to. And it adds a lot to the overall taste of these sandwiches. If I had to rank them, I said the turkey was gonna be my favorite. The BLT, I'm gonna put number two just because of how much it surprised me and because of how much, the, how much bacon was really on there. I just really enjoyed it. The roast beef was kind of dry, but it's still like I didn't hate it so something's got to be last because something has to be last and that's not really a problem so if you're gonna go check this out my recommendation would be the turkey or the BLT so I'm gonna give these sandwiches the whole brown sugar bacon sandwich family here a triple and a half main man three and a half stars very, very tasty. A lot of good flavors in there. And I'm leaving here a very happy boy. So I am really excited by uh, this purchase here. I feel like I got my money's worth. Each of these sandwiches run around six and a half bucks. So you want to feel like you got your money's worth for that much, right? And obviously I got a lot of bacon. I got, you know, the gimmick of it, the King's Hawaiian bun, the piled meat, so I feel like I did get my money's worth with this. And at the end of the day, I think that's what matters to me most. I, I want to be happy with my purchase instead of walking away and saying, ah, oh, you know what, I wish I would have spent my money elsewhere. And that's definitely not the attitude I'm leaving with here today. So thank you, Arby's, a very nice offering. I think I'm going to come back and have this at least one more time before it leaves the menu. It is only a limited time item, but 
I really think it's good. I really hope you guys get out there to your local Arby's and try it out for yourself. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you thought. If you have tried it, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, leave it in the comments. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, let's make like Tom and cruise.